fellas, let's uh, get caught up with the Hogs right now. They are four and three in the conference, 14 and five overall. Uh, they just came off, as we're recording this Tuesday night, they just came off of a win, Texas A&M overtime on Saturday. They, that was a revenge game against Texas A&M. They, in, in, uh, tomorrow night, Wednesday, is at Ole Miss. Yeah. They got Ole Miss tomorrow. Yo, here's the thing about Ole Miss. The first thing I always think of, how many people on their team are from Arkansas and mad that they're not for the Razorbacks and know their whole family is watching. Right. And this team, zero. The team my senior year, Ole Miss had seven dudes from Arkansas, and they mm. all hated us. Worse <laughs> than anyone. Yeah. And that's the first thing I think of when we play them. Still to today, I see guys. I see some of those guys. They still hate us. Of course, <laughs> of course. But that team was made up of. They they had a good team. They got as as high as I think twelve or ten in the country. But think about this: Mike White, head coach at Florida; Keith Carter, athletic director at um, at Ole Miss; Jason uh, Flanagan. Jason Flanagan, who's a coach now in junior college. Anthony Boone. Anthony Boone. Head coach at, at UCA Central Arkansas. Jason from, Smith. Jason Michael Smith. Boone. Jason yeah. Harris. Swole, little swole. He's a coach, too, with uh, Jason Harris. Hunter Carpenter. Hunter Carpenter. All of them. They, they, yeah. they, 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 they came yeah, in with Arkansas a real chip. Team. A real chip on their shoulder. and like. So I'm glad there's no Arkansans in the game. Uh, next game. <laughs> yeah, that, that 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 get that chip on the show. They were a good team, though. They got to watch out. So Hawks start 0-3. Um, did you guys see anything in that 0-3 run? Um, they were catching a lot of heat. I got my thoughts on it. Looking at and listening to Coach Must. Check this stat out. In their losses, they gave up 83 points a game in all of their, in, in their losses. Okay. So that was the, the Hofstra game. They gave up like 90 to start the SEC season. They gave 86 to uh, Texas A&M. They gave up. So, and then in their wins, their best wins of the season, Kansas state, Cincinnati, and then this recent run 58 points a game, the defense gave up 58 points. I mean, that's, there's got to be somewhere in between. <laughs> you can't be feast of famine. And that's what worries me about this team, fellas. I don't know if they got that consistent, like we can turn it on defensively when we have to. You know, I mean, you can do it for a couple games, but I, I don't know if they can continue to do that. I would say that's a big concern for me. Um, offensively, they seem all right. They don't shoot the three particularly well but to get to the free throw line they sure do and they make them they make them yeah and and i think that's a strategy um for coach Moss. he's he, you know he wants to get to the free throw line he actually thought they'd be a much better shooting team he said he, behind closed doors we'd knock it we'd kill it <laughs> and then when the bright lights come on they they uh haven't been able to so i'm wondering if any of you guys saw something but even from a defensive standpoint that they they able to do or was it just prioritizing it? Uh, I'm interested to see what they, you know, to the upper echelon teams in SEC, the Kentuckys, the Auburns. Oh, Miss would be a good challenge. You know, and I wonder if they're going to step up to the plate, like I said, where teams that they should have dominated, they didn't dominate on the defensive end, I feel like, in the losses. Right. Where, you know, we can't have that lapse against these Alabamas and Auburns. And guys like that, with teams like that, where it's going to be a long night, it's going to look, you know. And I, it was a big challenge for the LSU defense when we, you know, went on the road and played, played some great defense against LSU. Yeah, to Kareem's point, um, this team, the way they shoot it, they can't have defensive lapses, period. They have nothing to bail them out. You know, you have a defensive lapse, you come down and you, you can hit a bunch of shots in a row. That, that can close the gap. That keeps the game close. The way they shoot it, they, you can't have a lapse in effort, a lapse in defense, a lapse in rebounding. Because like, like you said, against Alabama, Auburn, you, you're going to find yourself down 20 quick, um, especially with the way Auburn plays defense. 
Um, you know, that is one of the craziest defenses I've ever seen in college. These guys are blocking threes. Like, <laughs> you can't yeah. even take a regular spot up three on that team. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, did. It's crazy. And they got – Auburn's got – they're too deep at every position. Like, they, their, second, their second five could put together another SEC team. <laughs> Look, we, you can talk about – defensive things you can talk about rebounds and free throws but when I think about late January and I think about you know I take myself back and what, what's it like when it's the end of January and going into February why do some teams all of a sudden collapse why do some teams all of a sudden get hot and they're so much better than they were two weeks ago and it's not something you can find in a box score you know it's it's about for me I mean, I probably watch the game differently. Me and Rich probably watch a basketball game differently than Kareem and Pat. Like, you guys started for four years, and you guys knew you were going to be in the game every game. And that's a different mental headspace than guys like us that were coming off the bench. You know, it's, it's a lot of ups and downs. You're usually frustrated. Like, our careers, they end. We were frustrated more than we were happy. You know what I mean? We always wanted more. And when I think about our team in 98. You guys don't know what it is going into a game being cold after warm us 45 minutes ago. That's what you know I'm what saying. saying? <laughs> I think we had to run a suicide just to get warmed up when we checked in. It's true. But what I, when I think about, like, when I think of the 98 Razorbacks, dude, we were so much better than going out in the set. We're so much better than – we were even better than our Sweet 16 team in 96. On paper, we had right. everything. We had three dudes you couldn't guard in the starting lineup, you two and Derek. What happened to us? And I think what happened to us mentally, we peaked at this time of year. Mm. And if you remember, Pat, on your first podcast, I said, we're, this team's going to lose in December. We're going to lose early. But we're yeah. going to peak late. Mm -hmm. And I think guys like Trey Wade and some of these super seniors are partly why. But I don't think we can tell what's going to happen based on what's already happened. Because we don't know what's going on in that locker room. Is this right. team, has this team bought in? Are they together? We don't know. We're going to find out. <clears throat> right. And I will say, I will say quick, Pat, what I've been saying, though. They are not going any further in the tournament without shooting than they did last year. This day and age, you have to hit the so, – got to uh, hit shots. Look at the teams that win. No, They're I not know. not winning last, hitting twos. So last year, I just remember, like, the two LSU games – they played one LSU game. I think they made something like I got to look this up, but it was maybe like 15 threes or just insane or 12 threes they made. The next dude, LSU they didn't hit one, dude. They lost the record, dude. They hit one three the other night, dude. Unbelievable. Dude, that third, hurt, right? that all time, hey, right? That hurt. That hurt bad. I can be honest with you. Street. You know what hurts just as much is none of them jokes is even new or cared. Dude. Like that, God, I think what you said was awesome. It connects. It connects 2021 with with 1989 or whatever. It was. Yeah, exactly. It connected us all. We were we were all part of this. We right. were all part of that streak. That was our streak. You know, that was all those teams' streak and all those fans that saw it. So yeah. you needed to know and you needed to care. So I'm gonna say about that goddamn streak. <laughs> And, yeah, and it's going to be tough having to make, like, 35 free throws every game instead of um, – yeah, Depending on the officials when, when, when it comes down to that, too. I mean, you know, you don't always have Superman Kareem Reed that can finish with seven people draped on him. Well, yeah, I, I, you know what I mean? Well, and the thing, too, Rich, is – so our best – our highest volume free throw shooters, Note and Chris Likes. And Chris Likes had, had – He's a high percentage free throw shooter. You saw what at the end of the game, he 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 struggled a little bit. As as much as I always say, free throws are the highest percentage shot you can get, unless you get a wide open layup. But you know, a three point shot, a great three point shooter is forty percent. Uh, a great big man in the paint shoots sixty percent. I mean, you can have an average free throw shooter at seventy five, seventy six percent. Never mind. So they're a good shot. Um, but it's a different animal. Like being on that line. I always said, Kareem, I don't know if I said this to Bob Holt. He's doing a story on free throw shooting. 
Kareem, I'll look it up right now. Kareem might have been a, I don't know what you were free throw wise over your career. I'm going to say you were probably high 70s in, for your career. 78, I, 78. 78. But I want somebody to do the math for me. Under two minutes, under three minutes, whatever they consider clutch. You were 95%. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong, guy? You remember thinking to yourself, like, absolutely, or a hundred percent. I don't know if your mentality changed, Kareem, no. in the end of the game situations, but you, you weren't seventy eight percent under no. four. <laughs> it was right. It, it, that, no, and when I you guess, look at, yeah. I guess at the end of the game, you know, <laughs> it meant some during the game. I might have been talking crap to people and stuff like oh, that, not focused no. on free throws. <laughs> And then at the end, I was struck, I was focused. <laughs> so to that point, Musselman talked about, Coach Mus talked about, he mentioned this year, uh, like a leadership question. And there's one thing, Kareem, I'm sure you heard it this year. Everyone says, where's the point guard? Where's the point guard? Lack of point guard. So how important is that for this team? Um, they, don't, they don't have that. I mean, they got short guys, but they don't have point guard mentalities. Yeah. And I guess, like I said, is you know, before I answer that one, Rich said it, like, how? You're going to put it in official hands every day to get to the free throw line? That's not going to work against them, them dogs, Alabama, the Auburn. They're going to they're gonna punch you in your face and all that, too, you know what I'm saying? And then we're looking crazy because we're not going to get back on defense. We're worried about the foul. So it's going to be hard, but, you know, if we don't, we got to get that mentality. And right. like I said, we talk about being who's the leader. Even, you know, I guess... The point guard always supposed to be, which we don't have one, right? And then we don't have a uh, 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 older men They're gonna say anything to right these guys. These guys right got their own agenda, so it's not. You know that's where it hurts in college basketball. I think not just in Arkansas, where upperclassmen can't really say nothing to freshmen or whatever stuff like that because these most of these freshmen are only there for on borrowed time. Well, I'd say, you know, in starting around this time is when you see someone emerge. Like last year around this time, if you think of two people that I really miss, um, Justin Smith and Jalen Tate. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. They really yeah. seemed different. By the time the tournament started, they just felt like men or something. Like I just felt so safe with them on the court. And we don't have that personality yeah. yet, mm. but it's going to emerge in February or not. Well, or yeah, not. and I, I got a, I got a, I got a basketball IQ question for Kareem, since you brought it up. Um, you know, the point guard is more obviously than just you know, Kareem. You're someone where no one had to worry about if the team threw a trap on Arkansas, they weren't going to trap you guys for long. You can handle mm -hmm. it, break it, um, but you knew certain points of the game what you had to do. So what's what's your approach? I mean, if you if you were talking to this team, I mean. You know, you're getting guys open shots when your team is, like you said, you know, you can't depend on the officials. You need to get open shots sometimes. I mean, what was your approach in, uh, you know, how would, you know, when you had to start doing that during the game? I guess sometimes in certain different parts of the game, I had to maybe calm it down or let's get Pat a shot. You know what I'm saying? Let's, you know, we might need something from God that minute or whatever, you know, to keep them. You know, I guess coach, coach always talking about, you know, putting money into something. You get something out of it. You know what I'm saying? So putting confidence in, in Pat, let's keep shooting, or God, let's, I need that hustle play or something like that. So, you know, so that was in me trying to get them the ball, assist. You know, God, you know, in open open court or whatever. You know, God running up, let's, let's pass it. In practice, starting in practice where we're getting some continuity off the court also. Where, I remember, you know. The, I remember the thing Kareem would always tell me, in practice was guy get in the game and you know i'm in the game i'm running up and down but he was like no guy get in the game like you're playing you're playing too much like a role player right now and i need to get in the game and he would hey, say you know like oh when all i needed to hear baby and, and it just makes you hit fit hit that lane even more because you know Kareem wants you in the game he's gonna throw you a alley -oop if you just fucking if you just run sorry about that <laughs> And that's the leadership. That's the leadership right there. Yeah, that's, that's, leadership. that's, hey, that's the leadership. Rottweiler, yeah. yeah. And that's like, the Rottweiler. Let him go, guy Whitney. Yeah. Let him go, guy Whitney. Yeah. 